Hello, Leo. How are you guys doing? Leo, Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. Okay. Let's see what's going on for you, Leo. Feel the energy of someone trying to betray you. You know, you have the sun and you have the seven of cups. you have energy of somebody thinking about you okay that's different from this betrayal energy you got the chariot be a cancer person Two of Crystals, Two of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. Here it is. Nine of Swords. Somebody is thinking about you here. Temperance. Do you have a you're gonna have a choice to make because you have this is this person, their energy is being sandwiched between temperance and the two of pentacles so this is telling me that you have a decision to make this is a person that you have wanted to cut out of your life perhaps in the past and you made a decision to do so which was a difficult decision for some of you spirit forced you into making a decision which you know there's nothing wrong with that you know that's why we have a spirit team and guides guiding us, helping us through all of this, right? That's what they're there for. <laughs> so it's okay. But it's like there's somebody here that wants to come back into your life and they shouldn't be in your life. They're not supposed to be. And then you have this ace of pentacles coming in. So you are a rare person. You know, pandas are a rare thing. Pandas don't just come all along and there they are. They're everywhere. They're pandas. No. That's not how it goes. Uh, so that's kind of like the energy that I'm getting at this time. But it's like you are something that people are trying to obtain because of this you know it's kind of like every zoo wants to get their hands on a panda because you know you're gonna be the only zoo that has a panda because there are not a lot of pandas left you know and yeah sure some of them it's because they want to help the panda and blah 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 they see how great pandas are and they want to you know so it's like yeah there's a lot of people that see how great you are, but if it's this infatuation like a panda in the zoo, that's not good. You know, whether you are intending to increase the panda population, which would be good for pandas. But if you're like, you know, some people are like, you know, I'm seeing like somebody, their whole house is pandas. Panda, panda, panda. <laughs> like they're obsessed. You know, so I feel like there's some people here that get really obsessed with your energy. And you allow these people into your life because it's kind of what you do. You give people a chance. You, you know, are welcoming. You are friendly. You are kind. You have a good heart, you know. And so you will allow these people into your life and it's not something good. I just caught on the clock 444. So for some of you, 444, look up uh, angel number 444. This is a sign for you, okay, going forward. 
but it's like there's somebody here who it's not I don't like the seven of swords card with this nine of uh swords card right I don't like that so you have a decision to make that's coming back around it feels like and you know, there's success that comes in after you secure this cutting out of this person, of this particular person here. Um, they could be a Libra. No, yeah, they could be a Libra and they could be a Scorpio. Sag, it's like from October to the end of the year. So what is that? That is Scorpio, that is Libra, that is Libra, Scorpio, um, Sagittarius, Capricorn. It's like a high probability they're one of those signs, but they don't have to be, you know. Um, but they're an obsessive person. You, you it's like something about having to look out especially there's certain people look at this emperor okay your spirit is going to be introducing to you to new people that are going to be your new people that are going to be something for you they're going to be a lookout for you and they're going to be somebody that you can have in your life and it's kind of like you have instant connection with these p sorts of people and they're going to be your new group of people it's like changing but it's like that's what you need around you at this time you know what i mean because you know this meerkat it's like they're showing me like when the meerkats like one of them it, like some of them are doing something but there's always one that's standing up and looking around you know and it's like you don't have that at this time because your people that were looking around they weren't looking out for you they were looking out for themselves so they would benefit and you would give to the situation, but you wouldn't get a benefit back from the situation. So it's like you thought these people were meerkats. You thought that they were your family and really they were raccoons. They were like, I don't know, maybe raccoons are really great, but I'm getting the energy from that card that they were not, not, not. Yeah, the three of wands is looking out. You're, you're, you're like, that's the energy of what you're attracting now, of what you're going to get now. Yeah, you know, you have the star card. Okay. So you're having this energy of somebody that will also look out for you the same way you would look out for them, but just like kind of telling you to beware of people that let people show you that's who they are first, right? There's something about that kind of an energy because you have a person who's trying to come back in or another person who has the same type of an energy that you just cleared out and got rid of because it's like you didn't clear it out all of the way. You have the Eight of Cups here. So now this is going to be about you finally walking away from energies that they're not a match to you and you don't that's it they're not they can't be in your life and that's that you deserve better than that for some of you it's a person with long hair could be a pisces with long hair they know people that are attached to an ex that you have and so you thought that they were here being your friend and they were like feeding information to people that are feeding information to your ex you know or something just like really weird like that the world though so that is coming to an end here the tower spirit is putting that to an end spirit is going to put that to a sudden end there's like some kind of connections that people used to have that they don't have anymore and the connection is these people used to talk about you and want things to go bad for you it feels like from jealousy there's also like at this time it's like you're so protected yeah that anyone that tries to talk against you get in your way or any that you have like 
extra karma protecting you. Like these people are going to come up with some, they're going to come out with some crazy illnesses or something like that. Because it's like spirit is like protecting you at this time. Uh, because it's like you have something inside of you that it's time for you to get out. It's time for you to do it. And any, even energetic, anything that anyone is trying to do that would hinder your ability to get this information out there. It's like spirit is not going to, king of swords. You have protection at this time and that's it. Yeah. It's the Hierophant card. So now is the time for you to move forward here on um something here spirit doesn't want you to hesitate at this time spirit doesn't want you to worry about what's coming in you have the wheel here so it's like the divine timing is here but it feels like when you feel this pull and this call to do something there's a little bit of a fear about should i be doing this or should i be okay that's what is that that's the devil That's what that is. So spirit is trying to pull away from you people that are, are trying to awaken this fear in you and stuff like that. This kind of energy, this devil energy that is around you. So spirit is protecting you and is pulling that away from you and... So at this time, it's like, you need to ex accept this help that you are being given with this empress. Like if someone, look at how these cards are just not even looking in the same direction. So spirit will handle it. And if there are people that are, you know, against you in any way and you come to find this information, spirit will handle it. It's kind of like, you know, the empress, it's like, um, they are just like fleas on her back. It doesn't matter. They don't matter. No, that's not to say they don't matter. That sounds kind of harsh. But it's just like what they're trying to do to you, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's not going to stop you. And so it's like you don't need to worry about that at this time because I feel like there could be someone in your friendship circle that is like, you know, you can't trust this person. Um, but, you know, it's like going forward, you don't need to tell anybody anything about what it is that you're doing here at this time because, um, you know, you have the spiritual protection. You're going to go forward and do it and you're going to be, look at this, the star. You're going to be very successful here. A lot of you people are going to find out what it is that you're doing and then they're going to want to try to come into your circle. You know what I mean? So spirit wants you to be wary of that as well. Uh, but it's like dedication at this time to something that you are being downloaded to do. There's like some sort of a download that you have been given about, okay, I need to be doing this at this time. I need to hold off on all other things that you usually do is the energy. So like maybe you usually spend time doing this, you spend time doing that, you spend money on this. You spend money on that. Spirit is like, stop all of that. Stop everything. Focus on this one thing that I'm telling you to do at this time. You know? So there's something here about um, making wise financial decisions at this time. Like now is not the time to splurge and spend money on all these sorts of things. And now is this, is this time to, you know, keep your money to your to yourself here to kind of protect it and to not you know there's just this energy of somebody wanting you to help them with something financially or expecting you to pay for things for them no 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 um maybe that's something that you would do you would go out and you would pay for everybody and no now's not the time for that um maybe you would always go here and you would spend a little extra you know money on this or money on that there's something about don't don't spend money on anything right now that you don't need you know what i mean that's centered that's that's the message don't spend your time doing things that are not going to a certain point there's something that spirit is like yes 
This is the idea. This is the dream. This is what you, we want you to craft, create, do, implement, um, whatever. Career, something like that. This is what we want from you. This is your idea. And we want you to just focus on that and do it. That's it. And you have spiritual protection at this time for you to be able to focus on this. So if people are not reaching out to you like they normally would, if you're waiting for a love and it's not happening, Spirit's like, yeah, we know. We block that because we want you to focus on this one thing that we want you to do because it's time for you to share this, okay? With this Hierophant card, the time has come for you now to share this here. And we have to put an end to everything else so you will focus your energy on that because you're not doing it. So that's what that's about. Uh, there could be a, a woman that helps you with this that is a water sign. So that is a Scorpio, a Pisces, or a Cancer. It doesn't have to be. Um, they could be in your family. And it looks like this person has had not luck in love or something like that. Or they just, you know... There's a person who's like separate from everybody else. They, maybe they don't know everybody else in your life. They don't run with those circles. They don't go out. And that's because they're older. That's because they're your aunt that nobody talks to, that you talk to. Something like that. There is a particular person that would have really good advice for you that you can confide in when you need to tell somebody something. Because spirit is like, don't tell everybody. But there's a, there's a person that you can tell. And this person is kind of like, you know, you see how this like black leopard is kind of, you know, black leopards, they kind of hide and they blend in with the rainforest. Like nobody really knows that they're there, but they're there, you know. So that's kind of like the energy that you have here going forward is um, be wise about who you like. Tell no one. And if you must tell someone, tell someone like that. You know. You have the king of pentacles here you're coming into a time of secure financial security stability where you're going to be able to do some make some big moves here where you're going to have opportunities to apply your finances to improvements to something you're crafting something you're creating something you're putting out there that is going to bring a lot of money towards you this is going to bring a lot of opportunities towards you and it has to do with something that spirit is guiding you towards doing that is your destiny to do it um yes and you're going to be very successful in this endeavor the strength card and the emperor they keep coming out like you are meant to be very very successful you are meant to do this you you have something that you're meant to do and you're kind of you've never really done it before it's not something you you've done before. You haven't done it in this way, in this capacity. Like this is a, a a leap of faith here. This is something that you have been learning about for a long, long time. Something that you've been gathering information about, and you've been putting together for a long time. And now it's time to come out with it. Here, this could be something that you like did and then you learn more about it and now you're doing it in a whole other and there's a way that you're launching it but it's like nobody really knows about the first time you know what i mean so like when i'm saying you've never done this before nobody knows this of you it's not like people don't know this so maybe it's been something you've been working on but you haven't shared it you know and spirit is like yeah you weren't supposed to share it yet ten of crystals this is the ten of pentacles so then it's time to share it now that's what that is saying yeah you have the queen of um wands and the eight of wands Spirit wants you to have this. Spirit is giving you a message. The Eight of Wands is the wands that are just flying through the air. That's the card, right? That's Spirit giving the message to who? To you. The Queen of Wands is you. 
So this is something that's deep within your soul. This is something that you have prayed about, that you have lost sleep over. That is something that is the dream that you have, the dream that you really have to heal and just have to abandon all past doubt and fear and all of that and you know heal all of that unworthiness that can't that can't mm -mm, that can't stay i feel like you're also being pulled into reflecting into your past at this time and that is because there's some things that you have held on to that you need to let go of still and this is because you are um it may feel like oh i have so much like you're constantly reassessing things that you're constantly healing that you're constantly letting go letting go letting go it's like oh my gosh i've done this so many times but it's like this transformation that's coming in this is big this is really really big so the transformation that you're going through is really really big it just it's and spirit wants you to know at this time you're going to be very 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 successful you are going to have financial stability you are going to have be able to obtain your dream it's like you are manif manifesting abundance in a way where you're doing something that you love and you're doing it because you love it and you know that this in your heart this is what you're meant to do to help other people and you're going to build this and grow this and build this and grow this and you're going to be able to like plan exciting things for your life you know, people that do these sort of things, that have this sort of thing come about, they're not like everybody else. And you're not like everybody. Look at this. I was just talking about transformation. Look what this card is called. Transformation. This is Cicada on this card. <sighs> Number 17 is important here. That may mean something to you be born on the 17th the person that you have feelings for could be born on the 17th you could be with that person right now um 17 days from now something significant could happen the cicada is underground for 17 years so the 17th year of your life could have been significant something that you did for 17 years that you're now you know changing there is a huge transformation that is taking place a huge chunk of your life 17 years they spend underground 17 can you imagine how crazy is that that's a long time for a transformation so you spending your entire life going through this transformation it's really time it's really time and spirit wants you to know you have no blocks going forward look at this chariot you are going for you are going to be able it's like everybody is clearing the way it's a parade and you're coming through something may have happened to do with new orleans maybe you're going to go to new orleans maybe you met someone from new orleans maybe you're from new orleans there's something about a parade in new orleans I feel like there is going to come a point where you're overcome with joy here. And it's something that you're doing right now. It's bringing you a lot of joy. And Spirit wants you to focus on that. What is it that is, like, you know, let your emotions guide you at this time. That's what the Queen of Cups means. You know, she's typically sitting and there's stones all on her feet and she's looking at this cup right and it's like all she sees is the cup the cup rep represents her emotions so how is she she's not walking around you know those stones are there they're gonna hurt her feet she's sitting down and she's looking at her emotions so you a lot of you may be drawn to look at your past past relationships past um career endeavors that you have gone on past things like this and you're reassessing you're reassessing you're thinking through these kinds of things some of you you know if you're trying to resist this energy you could get sick at this time because spirit is like no you need to do this you need to 
you're putting together the emotion that you felt and then the thoughts you were thinking, the beliefs that you had, the emotions that you had, and then what manifested as a result, how people treated you as a result. You're reassessing how within yourself, how you make yourself, your outside world is a reflection of that, right? And it's like coming to a point here of mastery. And that's why this is so important. You have a seven of wands. You're fighting here for your new opportunity, for your new independence. You have the ace of wands and the high priestess. You know, you just know, the high priestess just knows. She just knows. She's not saying anything. She's not telling anybody. She's not judging anything. It's not judging your past. It's not judging other people. It's not judging yourself or what other people had done to you. It's just... This is what where I was at, and this is what happened. You're taking a real honest look. And being really honest with yourself. Some of you may be resisting this energy, and that's okay. You're going to get to a point where I feel like you're going to accept it. And Spirit wants you to know it's okay for you to be vulnerable with yourself and to be honest with yourself about this is what happened. And I don't want that to happen again. So I'm going to make a change within myself. And that's what you're doing at this time. It's a very beautiful way to be. Some of you are going to be called to do this soon. But most of you, I feel like you're already doing it. You're already doing it. And Spirit wants you to feel proud of yourself for what you have gone through in this life because it feels like it has been a very difficult journey and you're still willing to be honest with yourself about where you're at and not allow it to jade you and not allow it to cause you to judge others or to feel sorry for yourself or to blame others or you know it's like okay this is what happened this is what went down and now what, you know? It's a very good energy to be in. And that's why you're getting this beautiful blessing coming forward. And that's why spirit is blocking things off. There's not a lot going on at this time because it's just, there is about to be, I feel like a faded event. Two of shells, two of cups, a faded meeting, a fading event. And you have the um, four of wands and the magician here. So this is something that you have been manifesting. A person, a person that you can co-create with, a person that you can manifest with, a person that you can spend this life with, a person that understands you, a real open and honest relationship. Look at this strength card here. Something could happen in eight days, doesn't have to be, but it could be. And there, you know, there is really something here about another person being very upset that this is going well for you and them not wanting it to go well for you. But again, it's like spirit is just going to pull them in with this nine of swords. Okay, this could be that person that was trying to betray you in the in the beginning here and the page of swords. They want to they want to know what's going on. They're trying to find out that information, but spirit is just going to pull them away into their own um dark night that they need to go to and that's just you know that's just it is what it is uh it's not gonna have anything to do with you going forward um you've learned your lessons from that and if somebody is, doesn't want to learn their lessons from something you know there's not really too much you can do about that and that is has to do with a part of the work that you're doing for a lot of you something that you're doing this is going to help other people be able to do what you have done something it has something to do with what you have gone through in this life and how you use that to go forward and you know this can help a lot of different people so some of you may get signs as far as a frog you may see a frog somewhere that is a sign of romance that is a sign of true love and it's a sign of somebody coming in that you know if you want love it really is here for you and it's it's like on the horizon coming forward so it's just like spirit just wants to be sure that you have let go of the energies that you need to let go of 
So there's no need to rush when someone comes forward um, because this is not something that's going to pass you by. You're going to know because this is somebody who has a different sort of energy than your past. But spirit is, is like welcoming you to assess something and not to just jump right in with it because there, there may be other people that are trying to come in as well and you're going to have a choice to make. And Spirit wants you to know you're going to make the right choice as long as you decide to take this step out and assess a bit. And a step out doesn't mean you have to say to someone, I need to take a step out and think about, the, you know, you don't even have to say that. You know, in the beginning when you're just talking to somebody and, you know, you have other people that are trying to come at you as well, you can just observe, observe. How is this person coming towards you? What is it that they're telling you with their actions and their words? Because you're seeing a pattern of the people before and the way they came in and what they said and what they did and how they acted and how it ended and how they treated you. It's like, you know, you're going to instantly know who this person is when they come forward. It's just going to feel completely different than anything that you have experienced before. Yeah. Six of Swords. So that's the moving forward card. It's like completely moving forward, completely different than before. It's not going to be. <sighs> okay. Let's see anything else about the person coming in towards for Leo. The mirror. Wow. This person is mirroring you. Mirroring your energy. They could have a very similar past to you. You and them have a very similar past. You've had experienced similar things. Okay, they're telling me it's like an opposite. Well, it's like when you look at your reflection in the mirror, it's like backwards. You can't read it. That could be something. Maybe they help children read or something. They help people learn how to read. But, um, so there could be ways that they're your exact opposite. It's like, you know, but still the same, you know, depiction. Um, you may like look in a mirror, you know, like you were just looking in a mirror and you were just like freshening up, you know, you just had the urge to do it. And, then you meet this person <laughs> and spirit's like yeah we were telling you to fix some things because we know you'd be upset if you didn't wow that's kind of cool um let's see. and it's like this the world is the world around you how people treat you what circumstances you find yourself in that's a mirror of what's going on within you it is and you know, for you to have this wonderful, amazing, beautiful person come into your life, that's because you did the work to be honest with yourself, to clear what you needed to clear, to change what you need to change, to love yourself. And, and now you're, you're finally meeting someone worthy of you. And that's beautiful. You deserve that. Okay, what else about this person? the gem whoa this person they're a gem they see you as a gem that's for sure they also have the siren card at the bottom of the deck so this could be something to do with a mermaid um they could just you know they feel like they you lured them in for sure for sure and for sure this connection is going to be very very magical absolutely and you may see um like something with like a mermaid on it or something when you're um thinking of this person or around the time when you meet this person but they really feel and i feel like you're also going to feel like you found a gem you really found something very very special here that you know they found something special in you that they're going to want to protect that they are going to, you know, want to secure as well. You know, this could be someone who is giving you a ring one day. If that is something that 
you are wanting. Regardless, they see what is special about you, what stands out about you. They feel like you are this treasure, this this person that they have been wanting uh, for a long, long time. And I feel like, you know, you feel the same way about this person. It could be a Gemini. Yeah, uh, yeah this is a coffin. Like flowers. These lilies. You know, they represent a deep, deep, deep connection. And they also can represent, um, like, just recently going through a very difficult time. So, you know, they could be coming out of a difficult time. You could be coming out of a difficult time when the two of you meet here. I feel like you've been going through a difficult time and they have been as well. And now you're on the other side of it and that's going to be a connecting point that you guys have. The perspectives that you have that maybe are different when you go around other people. They don't really seem to have this sort of an opinion uh, or this kind of a perspective um, like you have. Um, you also have the moon card here. The moon card is it's a romantic card for sure. Uh, it's not, a, in the Norman, it's not negative like the tarot. It doesn't have that kind of a connotation to it. Um, it it's kind of more like the star card, honestly. Um, and it's definitely a good card for love if you see all the hearts up here. So a magical meeting with a person. And then you have the bird card, which is conversation. So definitely someone could be talking about you to another person. You have the book card at the bottom of the deck that, you know, that maybe they're trying to look you up on Facebook. You definitely have a person here who it's like they are trying to figure out if you are available and they're trying to figure out more information about you. Some of you may know of this person already that's gonna come in, that you're gonna run into them again, and they are already talking about you or they're going to talk about you and try to find information about you. Or if like, if you tell them something, it's like, You could tell them like what your job is or something like that. And they like look up the meaning, you know, so they have more to talk to you about. Like this is somebody who's thoughtful, who's very um, sentimental also. You got TikTok. This is going to happen soon. If there is someone that you are caring about and you're like wondering why is this taking so much time? You got the between two worlds card here. It's kind of like saying, um, you can go, you can move forward. You can move forward. This TikTok card, it's like you don't have to wait to move forward. Go the distance. Wow. So this is somebody who is wants something to last. They want something for the long haul. They're not just in in something for right now and then that's it like this person is someone who wants to meet somebody wants to travel to with someone they could they could live at a distance from you as well wheel of fortune okay divine timing feels like divine timing is finally here and you've been kind of like waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting here and it's just like, is this ever going to come out? Like, I'm really getting a wondering with this card. And the moon card looks like just like the moon card on the Norman, doesn't it? Look at this. It's like the same moon, the same purple sky. So it's like, I feel like you're kind of like waiting and waiting and waiting. And when is this going to happen? And it's like, this is happening. This is happening. What you are dreaming of is coming. You have a star. And didn't I say this moon card is just like the star? It is. So you're going to get your wish fulfillment. <laughs> this is coming towards you. This feels like a really beautiful energy. Um, could be a Cancer Pisces or an Aquarius, but it doesn't have to be. But thank you so much, Leo. And I hope I see you next time.